Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Live in Light Camp Light 21 RBS. It's a great small quality travel trailer. If you're looking for a lighter weight couples coach, this is one you want to pay attention to. It comes in just over 3,600 pounds. Let's start over here on our kitchen slash entertainment area. You'll see they have the beautiful solid surface countertops all the way throughout, uh, which you know again is uh, nice. It kind of shows some of the quality that they put into a smaller travel trailer like this. You'll also notice the blue LED accent light. You can turn that off if you don't want it on, uh, but you'll see that underneath the countertop here as well as built into the backsplash above your cooktop. So right over here is the entertainment center. Uh, the TV itself is on a swing arm scissor bracket, so you can turn that, you know, kind of pull it out, swing it around to the bed if you so uh, wish to watch TV while you're in bed, or you can have it like it is right now, so you can watch it while you're sitting on the couch, turn it toward the kitchen, really whatever you want to do. Connected to that is your multimedia center, which is right down here. Uh, this unit is not only a radio and CD player, but also a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop your DVD in right there and watch it on the TV. If you have some auxiliary equipment you need to plug in, you'll also see right over here, you have an electrical outlet, or if you want to you know, plug in some kind of appliance, like a blender or something, obviously you can use it for that as well, as it is located very close to the kitchen. Right underneath here, you have some good storage. Uh, most of the time in a multimedia center, they only give you about enough room for, you know, a couple DVDs, but this one is definitely a little bit bigger. Um, you know, and myself, I'd probably put shoes in there just because I hate having shoes all over my RV, but whatever you want to stick in there, uh, you have the capability to do it because, again, it's a decent size. Now, if we take a look at the countertop itself, you will see that you have excellent prep space here. Uh, decent sized countertop, you know, for the size of the travel trailer, especially because they give you the solid surface sink top cover and then the recessed uh, two burner cooktop here. So when we take a look right here, you see the undermount stainless steel bowl, single bowl, which I think was a good choice in this floor plan. That way you have more prep space right in between here. And then the high rise faucet to help you wash dishes. Right behind the sink, you'll see you have a window. The windows in here are pretty nice. They have essentially polycarbonate windows. Uh, they use that for a couple reasons. The main reason is weight. Uh, it's a lot lighter than your standard glass window. And you know what they do is they put these shades in. So you have a couple different options. Currently, you have the shade down like it is right now for privacy. They're connected right here. You can lift this up. The window there, uh, if you undo these three locks, that window will actually tilt open, kind of lock into place, then this will act as your screen. That way you can get really nice airflow in here uh, and not have to worry about bugs and everything else flying in. Or if you want, you can actually disconnect these. You can disconnect this right here, totally separate those, and then open your window up and again, be able to you know transfer items back and forth or whatever you want to do there. Uh, but it does give you some different versatility with the windows throughout this RV. Right over to the side here is the backsplash. Uh, as I had mentioned previously, it does have the LED rope light in there. It gives it a pretty cool look. And then right here is your two burner cooktop. The top is glass again, so you can use that as prep space. Fold that up. It kind of doubles as a backsplash because you know the glass is uh, nice and easy to clean and to help protect the decorative uh, glass piece a little bit better. And then your two burner cooktop is right there. If we take a quick look underneath some of the storage, Open this up for you. You see good storage underneath the sink. Plenty of room up top here for your cleaning chemicals. Uh, smaller space down below, but it is enough. You can fit a smaller trash can in there. Good storage right over here too. You know, if you want to use this for extra, I'd probably use it for extra pantry space for like my chips or pop tarts or s'more stuff, whatever else you want to put in here. Uh, but that is decent storage there. Now, if you take a look right underneath, you see the water pump. Um, I do like the fact that it is nice and open, easy to access. That way, you know, if you do have to get to it for any kind of maintenance reasons, or if you have to replace it, you know exactly where it is at. You'll see you have LED lights in the kitchen here as well. You have LED lights throughout the entire RV, which are nice. They don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Then if we look up top, first of all, the glass itself, I want to point out really uh, decorative glass there. It's pretty cool. They do have the blue LED lights again that can shine through, uh, just giving you that, that little extra accent lighting. But nice pantry storage right here up top. You'll see it is strut supported, so nice, simple one hand operation. And as was uh, with everything Quicksilver, they try to use as little wood as possible. So you'll see in here, instead of wood, it's actually framed out in aluminum. Uh, which is really cool. You know, you see that on the structural side, on the outside of things, but you just don't see that on the inside of RVs. 
So framed out in aluminum, and then your panels on here are Asdell, uh, which is, uh, you know, again, a higher end, lighter weight component. Over to this side, here's your convection microwave oven. I think this is a great choice as well. Uh, by foregoing your conventional oven, you get all this extra storage down here, and then you have uh, basically a two for one right here. The convection also cooks faster than your con uh, regular oven, and it's nice and easy to clean. Speaking of the extra storage down below, now you have the storage underneath the countertop there, but you have a bank of very large full extension ball bearing drawers. You see you have three of those, so now you have room for your silverware and all your other serving utensils. They give you a, a third drawer right down here for, you know, hot pads or if you have a catch-all drawer or whatever else you may want to um, store in there. Then over to the side, take a look at this. Just in case you needed more pantry space, you have a ton in here. Uh, I love the amount of storage they give you here. This is awesome, especially for a smaller couple's coach. Uh, I think it was very well done. Across the way here is your Dometic fridge-freezer combo. This kind of rounds out the kitchen. I'll open that up for you. Uh, you can see that you, know, you have sufficient space cut out there for some taller items. You also have uh, some drawers down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Then right up top here is a little bit of additional storage. Now, you know, again, just fully utilizing the space. Right in the back here is the bathroom. I'll open this guy up for you. We can take a quick look. In the bathroom here, take a look at the beautiful countertops. You have the solid surface countertops in the bathroom. They didn't cheap out here. Nice big countertop space as well. And an upgraded stainless steel bowl. You see the faucet there off to the side, electrical outlet behind that as well. Directly above, take a look at the storage. You have big storage in here, uh, you know, on both sides. Excellent linen closet, plenty of space for everything that you need to stick in here, your towels and some of your other bathroom accessories. Underneath the sink, you have some additional storage there. Great spot for, again, some of your cleaning supplies. Uh, you can see the water heater down below. And then off to the side here, even more storage. The toilet itself is a foot flush lever toilet. It does have a porcelain bowl. You know, they tried to make this light, but they still want to have nice quality components. And I definitely think that one is worth the extra weight. If we take a look at the shower here, you do have this nice curtain. Uh, the shower itself is, you know, fairly good size. I'm not a, the smallest guy ever. I can move around here. I can actually turn around if I have to. Uh, you have the hand wand here, LED light in here as well. Um, you know, a lot of manufacturers don't do that, and if you try to shower at night, it's really dark and hard to see, so I do like the fact they put that in there. And then directly above me is a skylight. Uh, I'm six foot, you can see, you know, my head's just kind of starting to creep into the skylight here. You probably have another two inches or so. Uh, so if you're really tall, you know, you probably have to bend over in the shower. But if you're, you know, six foot or shorter, it's just fine. Right out in the main living area here is your slide out. Uh, again, you know, fairly lightweight at just over 3,600 pounds. This really helps open the space up, make it nice and comfortable. The slide out sofa here is 72 inches long. Uh, so, you know, if you do need to take a nap on there, have someone sleep on it, you can do that. And it is a jackknife sofa, so that does fold down. Also, right behind the sofa here is a table. So if you want to you know, have a place to eat a meal, if you want to eat inside, maybe it's raining outside or you don't feel like eating outside, too hot, whatever it may be, you can set the table up right here and be able to enjoy that meal or play games. Now when you're done, again, fold it up and put it right behind the sofa here. You also have the nice big window right back there which lets in a lot of natural light. Quick look at the ceiling. You do have a big vent fan right here, which is really nice. If you need to you know, create some cross ventilation and you don't want to run your AC, or maybe you just cooked some bacon, you want to quickly get the smell out, this will certainly do it. And then right over here is your AC. The controls for the AC are located right here on the AC itself. Let's take a look at the bedroom portion. Uh, one of the other things I really like about this and something I would expect in a quality uh, couples coach, especially a travel trailer like this, is the fact that they put in an actual 60 by 80 queen size bed. That's your uh, residential size. And you know, again, in this style of floor plan and in this level of travel trailer, I think you have to do it. And I'm really glad they did. So if you're a taller person, you're sick of your feet hanging off, this is one you won't have that problem. They also have storage underneath. It's extremely easy to access. You see you have a couple struts here, uh, an additional table there. You know, if you want to take that table outside or something, you can do that. Um, you know, just a nice secondary table. 
Then over on the sides here, uh, if we take a look, you see you have the nightstands. Underneath the nightstands, you have electrical outlet. On the one side, you have an electrical outlet. The other, out, the other side here is one outlet and then dual USB port. So a little more dedicated to charging your electronic devices. But if you sleep with a CPAP machine or anything, you can use that on either side. You also see the accent lighting on the headboard. Uh, you know, that's a switch over here on the side. Again, you can turn that on or off. Both sides have nice big hanging wardrobe space. You can see that there, as well as storage up top. Again, that same cool decorative glass with the blue light behind it kind of gives it that accent. Now, I like what they've done with the pillows here too. You know, I, I know this is something that's uh, kind of minor, but I do like the pattern they use. You know, they, they put some pops of color in here to help kind of break up the grays. You have this side as well. Um, you know, and again, just uh, that nice little touch that I think really makes a difference. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside of the Livin' Light 21RB. Right up front here you have a power tongue jack. This of course makes it nice and easy to hook up or disconnect from the tow vehicle. Simply flip this switch here to raise or lower the tongue. Right underneath you will notice the uh, light on there, so in case you need a little extra light at night, you can flip that on. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. It's very easy to access those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws here. Then you can lift up the door and get right down in there. Then behind that, you see the nice big rails here for your battery. You'll see how wide that is. That way you can have a couple batteries here. So if you do expect to be doing some uh, boondocking or dry camping, you can have that extra battery power. Then right underneath that is your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it is right there for you. Another cool thing about the uh, camp light here is the uh, frame itself. You'll see it's an all aluminum frame there, which is great. Uh, not only does that help with some of the weight, but it still has excellent structural integrity and it won't rust out on you. Coming up the front is the black diamond plating. This will help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. So you come around to this side here, you can see the sidewall. Uh, this is the nice gray exterior. This one is a vacuum bonded, uh, vacuum bond laminated structure here. So uh, one of the great things about the uh, Living Light or Camp Light products is that they try to use as little wood as possible. So uh, right behind this outside fiberglass, instead of having your Luan, which essentially is a plywood, they use Asdel composite panels. You uh, kind of saw that uh, inside when we went throughout, but it's very nice to have on the outside. One of the big reasons, again, it's lighter weight. Two, it doesn't absorb moisture, so it eliminate most of your delamination problems. And three, it won't have the off-gassing, so if you're more sensitive to those, uh, you won't have that issues with the camp light here. If we take a look at the pass-through, you'll see it is a nice wide door, covered hinge on there, so again, you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. Magnetic as well, so you can just put it up like so and forget about it. If you take a look inside, you see the nice big pass-through, same size door on the other side. You have a light on either side of the door. You can see the aluminum framing in here, and then this right here is the Asdel composite panel I was talking about. You can see the back of that. Again, they use that throughout. Uh, right over here, you will notice you have the um, uh, battery disconnect right there too. So if you need to quickly kill power, uh, you can just flip that. That way you don't have to constantly get in the batteries. And you'll also see it as a slam latch baggage door. Making our way back a little bit further here, to get into the 21 RBS, it's nice and easy. You have the two foldable aluminum steps with the foldable grab handle here. Uh, because you have the grip strips on there as well, even if it's you know raining or wet, you should still get good grip on the steps. And with the grab handle, you will have good control when entering or exiting. Plus again, aluminum won't rust out on you. Uh, if we take a look up top, power awning on here, touch button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you have an LED light strip underneath. So that way, if you want to sit out here at night, you can just flip a switch to have lights. You don't have to worry about getting up there and hanging up your Christmas lights. Now, by all means, if you know you like your Christmas lights, you can still hang those up too, uh, but it is just a nicer, simpler option to have there. Two outside speakers, so if you want to sit out here and uh, listen to some music, you can do that. Those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you sit out here underneath your awning with your tablet or your phone, you can control your music from right out here. We take a, a quick look at the wheels here. You see aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do those look nice, but once again, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but they don't rust. Uh, also, you have nitrogen filled tires, which are nice. They help uh, retain the tire pressure for a longer period of time. 
Uh, another nice thing about it is you have easy lube axles and self-adjusting brakes. Uh, both of those are much easier on the maintenance side. You don't have to repack your bearings nearly as often. Uh, it has a grease zert on there and also the adjustable brakes. That's one of the things most people forget is to adjust their brakes. So less, uh, you know, this means you spend less time on maintenance, which is definitely a good thing. Right in between, the suspension on here is the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension system, giving you three inches of travel. That's a really nice suspension system to have on a travel trailer. You will definitely notice that while towing this down the road. Uh, if we take a look uh, right up top here, you see that this is your tank fill. Uh, gravity fill, nice and easy to use. The city fill will be on the other side, which I'll show you in just a minute. If you want outside TV connections, this is where they go. You see you have your electrical outlet right there, pretty standard, obviously you can plug anything into that. And then right here is your uh, cable outlet. So we take a look at the back here, a couple features I wanna point out. One is your nice aluminum bumper right in the back, again, not gonna rust on you. Right above that, outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And if you take a look at the top center here, as you would expect on a premium travel trailer, you have backup camera prep. This is really nice. If you want a backup camera, having the prep on there makes it super simple. Basically buy the Furion uh, camera, it's a plug and play, which means it is a lot less expensive to have that installed. Coming around to the side here, this is your city water inlet. You'll see right next to that is the black tank flush. This makes it easy to wash out your black tank. Rather than having to stick a hose down the toilet, you simply screw the hose in right there. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. And your termination is right down below. You can see your gray tank valve right there, the black over on the side. Uh, right back up top here, you have your cable inlet as well as uh, your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in right there. Then you see the vents are on this side rather than on the camp side, which is also quite nice. Making our way up a little bit further, another thing I want to point out, because you don't have your standard uh, steel square tubular bumper, you have the aluminum one, instead what they do is they give you this guy right here and that is where your sewer hose will store. Last thing I want to mention is right up here, and this is your Furion Solar Prep. If you want solar on this RV, all you have to do is buy the portable Furion panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Camp Light 21 RBS with the gray exterior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.